Get out of my video. You just told me to take a seat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, you're recording. I told him take a seat and then get out of my video. All right, guys. Um, welcome to the vlog. Look who's here. Hello, In Australia. Australia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. This is my last week of my travel journey. First of all, can we tell a story time about how I convinced Tristan to come to Australia and then I almost couldn't even get into the country? Bruh. <laughs> Whenever I began my journey, I booked my one-way ticket into Japan, and I booked my return flight out of Sydney, Australia, but what they didn't tell me was that I needed a visa to get into the country. I didn't yeah. figure out, it's about a week ago. So, somewhere in between me booking my one-way flight, me and my friend Sierra convinced Tristan to book a flight to Australia. We were yeah. like, oh my god, let's do a friend trip or whatever. He yeah. books his flight last week. Was last week came around. I think it was like Thursday or Friday. We realized we needed a visa. Tristan applied, gets approved in five minutes. Mm -hmm. I applied. I heard nothing for five days. <laughs> <laughs> and so Tristan comes to Australia because his flight lands two days before me. He's here, and I'm chilling. like chilling. He's here chilling, vibing, eating all the food, existing, living his best mm -hmm. life. And I'm like, I can't even get in. I call the Australian affairs government people. They're like, mm, sorry, ma'am. If you... I was gonna do an Australian accent, <laughs> no. it was gonna be so fuck. Let me not. I called the Australian people and they're like, you can't come if you don't got a visa. And so I called Tristan and I was like, well, good luck. She calls me and I'm walking, I'm having a great time, right? I'm enjoying the views. It's a beautiful day. She calls me and she's like, or she texts me and she's like, I might not be able to go. And so I was like, dang, that's crazy. I almost changed my flight right then and there, but then I got distracted by anime stores. Yeah. And then so, and then she got approved like 10, 15 minutes later. So yeah, I God. found this other, I didn't, I never got the visitor visa by the way, but when I was on the phone with the lady, she told me I could apply for this electronic, travel 20 bucks or something like that yeah first of all the visa him and sierra found was 190 australian dollars i got robbed he got robbed i found this other thing for 20 australian dollars and i got approved in five minutes but she spent 20 bucks and i spent 120. no nah, i spent basically oh, you spent 140. You, yeah yeah you spent a lot more i spent a lot more money because i still yeah. got i still applied for the visa and i still never got it but i got my <laughs> i promise you i'm gonna get it as soon as i get back Instead, I got my ETA, got into the country, and now we're live. Uh, yeah, we're in the Gold Coast right now. We're gonna go to Sydney in a couple days, and I'm excited for the world. Woo! <laughs> First thing we're doing in Australia is... First thing we're doing in Australia is going to zero latency. We're gonna do shoot some zombies. We're gonna do VR, and we're gonna see Taylor run the screen. <laughs> or maybe it's gonna be me. <laughs> Far too right, long. Reality. <laughs> I know. Tristan, you go first. Yeah. Tristan, go first. Go first. We'll go behind you, Tristan. Tell me. Yes. I watched the right. Tell me what's the left. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh, shit. You're fine. What? You're too close to me. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I got a front, I got a front. Just keep shooting behind. Don't run, don't run, don't run. We're not going anywhere. Why are we still on somewhere? Are you moving? Oh, look, there's a helicopter. Look up. Oh. <laughs> Say it again. Hey guys, so uh, we just got a burly here and we're actually gonna eat some fish and chips. Um, it's gonna be amazing and we're gonna eat calamari and they're gonna have a pineapple fruit. I don't know if they have one yet. Okay, bye. <laughs> We've got some fish from Fishmonger. Oh, that was very like British. It is very like British, eh? What is that book on your leg? Ah! <laughs> There's creatures everywhere. We're going to Burley Hill to watch the sunset and eat fish from Fishmongers. Hi. <laughs> Hello, vibes. Say some Australian. We're missing the oh, good eye, mate. Oh yeah, she's like, oh, we're gonna find a good park over here. No, I didn't say and I was like, like you mean a parking spot? <laughs> what, do you mean? what do you mean a park? What does that mean? <laughs> That's what you said. No, you What's like, wrong with that? Nothing wrong with it. It's just the Australian that, way. What would you say? No, we just we don't say looking for a park. We just say parking spot. 
Oh wait, we're going to time to for a park. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's a bit chilly. So it is a bit chilly. A bit chilly willy. I'm driving a car right now in Australia. This is my first time driving on the right, left, yep. right car side of the car, left, left, left side, side of the road. Come on now. This is a POV, Gran Turismo. Mm -hmm. Is it quite easy? Yes. It's not bad. Like, I feel like I just gotta think harder than normal. I don't normally think when I drive. It's actually quite beautiful tonight. Put it board. Hey guys, so I'm in Australia right now. I am gonna try Shapes Originals Chicken Crumpy. Chicken Crumpy. You ever had a chicken and a biscuit cracker? No, the fuck. Hmm. I hit my glance. Fuck. You might as well say hello. One time? Oh, you can see yourself. So. Yeah, it's about to do that. <laughs> I know, I need. <laughs> There's a lot of L's going on right now. It tastes like um, chicken noodle soup. Mmm. 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 That was our first snack. Next, I have our knots. Hundreds and thousands, which are crunchy vanilla bake flavored bickies. 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 Biscuit. Oh. You know what biscuit is? A biggie. Yeah. Yeah. It's not cooking. It's a biscuit. <laughs> I don't know if you need to be doing it all back to back like that, for sure. I only got two snacks. Should we have Vegemite? I've never had Vegemite. This is less salty. These are good, they just taste more subtle. They're not super crazy. Try Vegemite. You want me to try Vegemite after I eat those cookies? Isn't it like a savory flavor? Thankfully, you don't eat it like this though, but like everyone just does it like that. Everyone eats it on a spoon. You're like when you're giving it to people, but we eat on toast. Vegemite on toast. Or you can have it on toast if you want, but you may as well just taste it. You're not gonna like it anyway. Like eating it like that. Okay, yeah, I feel like I'm not gonna like it eating it like this. It so, smells so strong. I, after I just ate that cookie, <laughs> this is foul. Well, you may as well just add it while you're here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so strong? Hold on, wait. Hold on, get <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry, Australia. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Why is it so strong? No, nah, this foul. No, but yeah, I should do a thin layer on toast. It's actually really good. But well, food. yeah, I can envision it on toast because mm -hmm. it probably has a savory flavor, but by itself, it tastes like a. No, no one's eating it like that. My friend Tristan, we're gonna make him try the Vegemite. We're gonna tell him that it's. Like, it's an Australian delicacy. This is an Australian delicacy, Vegemite. Yeah. Very this good. is the, the dish to try when you're in Australia. Okay. Delicacy, delicacy. from the, the Australian ancestors. delicacy from the ancestors. It's great. It's from on the, the ancestors. It's on the spoon. Just spoon it. <laughs> Y'all lied to me. <laughs> no, we didn't. Y'all some dirty hoes. That's it all. What the hell is that? Australian delicacy? Give me that. Hold on. <laughs> no, it actually, it's one of the most popular things you can get in Australia. <laughs> so, say something nice. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Give me something that and send me yours. Wow! I'm to so I can put up my That's phone. intense! <laughs> so, I can't believe you went the whole- What do you mean? Trust. What do you mean? I trusted you! <laughs> You're like, this is the best thing ever. Rate right, whose Vegemite reaction was better, mine or Tristan's? I'm getting a sausage roll or two. Should I try a meat pie? Yeah. Which one should I try? Try meat pie, try sausage roll, try that. Yeah, give me a steak, bacon, and cheese. Mmm. This looks good. Oh, I love when they do the, the sauces like this. Squeeze. Yeah, where you just break and squeeze. It's like a chicken pot pie. It tastes exactly like what I was envisioning it to taste like. <laughs> really? It's good. I love sausage rolls. Mm. Have you had one before? In England, I had one. Mm. It wasn't like this completely. This one's more flakier and a little butterier. I like this one better, actually. Oh, yeah. But it's good. Oh. Huh. 
I feel like I only really taste the bacon. That moment. Where's the cheese? Is there cheese on the inside or only on the top? Inside. I don't know how to describe it. I guess it just tastes like a pie. <laughs> a meat, meat pie. <laughs> Literally tastes like meat, cheese, and pie. Mm. It's good. I like it. I feel like it'd be good with ketchup on it. Yeah, here, Tristan, try this. All right, I just dive on dive in. Dive on in. Get where the, the stuff is. Ooh, I can feel the heat. Yep. <laughs> that was a I'm nervous bite. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give that back to you. <laughs> <laughs> It's the home of the crocodile hunter. Guys, I'm so excited. We just drove literally two hours up north to go to the Australia Zoo. And I'm excited to see some animals. These are gonna be the first animals we're gonna see. I don't know if we made it for the crocodile show because we left kind of late. So it's like 1230 right now. So, uh, oh, 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 oh. The Australia Zoo. Woo! <laughs> do a flip, do a flip. Do a flip. Do a spin. Oh yeah, be careful. We, can kind of, we don't have no travel insurance. I love it! <laughs> I'm a crocodile hunter. You feeling like a crocodile hunter? I feel like a crocodile hunter. Like crocodile hunter. We're going to get the crocodile. I want to touch a kangaroo. I'll touch a kangaroo? I hope it doesn't box me. Crikey, see what does crikey mean? Crikey. Wait, Steve Irwin. look at this. Oh, it's just Steve Irwin. He used to say crikey. Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin used to say crikey. Yeah. Crikey. <laughs> <laughs> These are the Komodo dragons over here. This is the first animal we're seeing. It's a Komodo dragon. OMG. They're huge. Wow, it's so big. Hello, Gerald. Is his name Gerald? No, I just made it up. Okay, I thought. He's just out for a ride. He's chilling. He is swole. He is. He is jacked. He's been in a gym. Tristan, tell us a fun fact. Fun fact about Australia? About the zoo. About the zoo? What have you learned in the last five minutes? The last five minutes, I've learned that a uh, Komodo dragon, as long as tooth can grow up to two centimeters. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I literally just read that over there. And Sierra said something about Komodo, drag Komodo dragons and they're eating their food. Yeah, I saw this thing the other night on Facebook. And, um, hang on, I can't see them with my clothes on because I'm too cool. <laughs> not kidding. <laughs> what no, I saw you? something on Facebook the other night and they had two, bit, like, two lots of meat or like yeah. minced meat or whatever. One obviously was just normal, left out. And then they put the kimono dragons. The kimono dragon had bitten the other meat. And the poison went into it. And that shit was yeah. It poisoned the meat? Yeah, so it was showing it like over the days or time or whatever. And the meat was just like dissolving. Going crazy. Oh, wait, so it was poison in their teeth? Yeah, kimono dragon. Wow. What is this? The baby crocodile? Oh, it's a rhino. This is the dinosaur oh, I was looking for. Where? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sick. He's seen the world. He's seen the world. He's seen something. Oh, this is where the show is. You're like a shadow. I know I am. Thanks. Just a lot character. My job, my mission, the reason I've been put onto this planet is to save water. And I thank you for coming with me. Yeah, let's get him. But it looks like he's gonna play, so we'll watch him lining up the strike. As soon as he gets close enough, he's gonna launch out of the water, grab that food item, and instinctively take it back into the water. And Chandler's gonna Get a little bit of struggle going here. There we go. The animal's fighting back. Scrap has got a death roll. You little river, we got a death roll. He's got 64 very long, sharp, penetrating teeth. Those teeth are like shaped like bullets. They sink deep into the flesh. And he's got more jaw pressure than any living animal today. He's got about 3,000 pounds per square inch jaw pressure. 
That's the same as the PSI and the hydraulics of the brakes of a 747. So Tristan is afraid of snakes. Somehow I convinced him to take a photo with the snake. My heart's like beating. Is it actually? Yeah. Can you feel it? No. No? Scale of 1 to 10, how scared are you? A solid 8. Really? I don't really like snakes. <laughs> They're just like... So you don't like where they move? What if it like slithers it's on your neck? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm toast. I'm excited. I've held the snake before. Yeah? Yeah, was professional. Like? I screamed. <laughs> You look scared. Scared's not the word. <laughs> Petrified. Petrified? Petrified is the word. Why do you look... Don't do that. <laughs> you look so, so frightened. Don't do that. I need your subscribers to know I'm real. <laughs> He's... <laughs> it's not even... Hello. Can I just set my camera up over here really quick? Yeah, thank you. Frogs? Sweet eyes? How was it? Rate it. Honestly, it was fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I was so terrified fun. though. He, <laughs> he put that snake in my hand. I said, "Ha!" Oh! He went and put the snake in our hands and started screaming. It felt so weird. It felt so slimy, but it wasn't wet at all. So I don't even know how. To, it literally felt like it had lotion on it, but our hands weren't wet after. So I don't know how to feel. And Tristan is scared, so he's gonna go wash his hands. So <laughs> look this way, Dingo, 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 Dingleberry, Ding Dong. What's he doing? Chief, where are you going? Oh, what's wrong with Chief? Ninety percent of them uh, are have been killed off by themselves in Tasmania. Basically, they have a double facial tumor disease, and as they rub across each other, they spread it, and so it kills them. And so they basically kill themselves, kind of like humanity. Oh, I got dark. Cut. We're going to see the rhinos right now. I've been been rhino tracking before. I went rhino tracking in Uganda, and whenever I went. The fact that they gave me was, if a rhino tries to chase you, climb a tree. That was it. That's the safety tip That's I got That's the safety tip you got? If a rhino tries to run at you, climb the, your nearest tree. That's how you get out. Now my question for you is, can you climb a tree? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> so we are just S-O-L. S-O-L. So? Shit, I Oh! There they go. In the wild. Crikey. Crikey, there's a giraffe! Look at the meerkats. Nah! So <laughs> many! Baba Beach Subara! Wow! When you're away. He's so cute! Little ears! I don't know why I thought they would be bigger. <laughs> Kelly, like you can move a bit faster. Oh, he's so soft! Mm -hmm. Wow! Do you want a photo, Taylor? Yeah, just press the little thing button. Wash your fingers. your fingers. Here on Taylor's vlog, we are now trying new snacks. Sierra's lovely mother went <coughs> went out and got us some more snacks to try. And now we're trying a Monte Carlo. What is that? Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. A Monte Carlo and some twisties, twisties, twisties and, and some, some mints. And some minties. 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 Which one should we try first, eh? Do you Can reckon? Well, the minty. <laughs> oh no, the minty last because it's like minty flavor. Okay. Oh, okay. So we try the twisties first. Twisties. Or the Monte Carlo. Twisties, then Monte Carlo. All right, we're gonna do twisties first. Everyone take one. Twisties first. Oh, it's a Cheeto. Oh. Sounds Cheeto. <laughs> Disrespects me. They know one to wait for each other. Mmm, mmm, mm, great. That's like what you can devour them so easily. These are 10 out of 10. These are 10 out of 10. The flavors are first How can we like ate dinner on my. We ate so much dinner. We went to the lamb shack for dinner, ate a whole bunch of lamb shop. Lamb shop. God, right, come on. Put the juicy down. We're eating Monte Carlos now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next, we're trying Arnott's. No, it's Monte Carlo. 
Arnott's money. Oh, no, Carlos. This is Ram. Oh, Arnott's. All right, I'm gonna assume it's some type of a biscuit with strawberry flavor on the inside. All right, here we go. Let's try it at the same time, Tristan. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, God, I'm gonna try. Oh. Is this cotton candy on the inside? No. Not crazy. It's like cotton candy on the inside. Mmm, this biscuit is good. <laughs> I like the biscuit. This is pretty good. I'm trying to. Yeah. Dissect the interior flavor for this. What do you yeah. think? Your thoughts on yeah, the Yeah, I like this. No, no, no. I like it. I like it. Hmm. What's the flavor on the inside? Mm. Swirl of cream and chewy jam. Coconut biscuits. Coconut and honey biscuits. Hmm. I don't even taste the coconut. Tastes like cotton candy. It almost tastes like the filling of an Oreo. On the inside? Different. Yeah, on the inside. It's sweeter. Yeah. Last one. Minties. Is it just a mint? We're gonna need this. Why? Is it like a laffy? Hmm? Is it a minty laffy? I don't want one. Oh. Uh oh. You don't like it? No, I'm not. If you like mint, I know. All right, last one. Minties. Refreshing. Delicious and nutritious. So minty laffy taffy. Oh. Mm. Oh my god. Look like peppermint. I told you it's like minty. That's why I like, like it. You like peppermint? So like high chew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell you tall. Mm, I love Careful. peppermint. You like peppermint? Like peppermint? We left the Vicky. You don't like it. Hey, six out of ten. Yeah, that one's the one that broke off. Huh. Other than my juice drink, my tea? I don't know. It's kind of like the feeling of. I want to break it too. Yeah. It's good though. I love peppermint. Like during Christmas, I just munch it on the peppermint. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a Christmas peppermint, but it's chewy. You ever do peppermint tea? I don't really drink tea. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to suck on it until it dissolves. <laughs> it's me and Tristan's last day in the Gold Coast. Yes. We're walking to this place that we've had literally every single morning for breakfast here in the Gold Coast. It's called, starts with R. Rafiki. Rafiki or Rafiki. something like that. Rafiki. I've had a bacon, egg, and cheese toasty every single morning. It tastes beautiful. I'm trying to decide if I want the same thing or not because it's our last day. It's like I want to switch it up, but I want the same thing because I want the same thing one more time before we course, go. You know what I'm saying? We're walking on the beach right now. Well, we're getting towards the beach. I can't see nothing. I didn't put my glasses back on. I don't know why I took them off. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to see the vlog, but it made everything so much worse. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, of course. This is the best thing ever. The bacon, egg, and cheese toasty with avocado on the side. Oh, grab one. Mm. So this is what I do half the day. This is Winnie. She is a, the puppiest puppy I've ever met. If a puppy could ever puppy, she is the puppiest puppy a puppy could puppy. Say hello. Say hello. She can't hold still. Save her life. She's so cute. Look at her. Hey guys, so we're at the Sydney Fish Market and um, we're gonna give you an awesome tour today. So yeah, uh, come along for the ride and just get ready um, for an amazing time. <laughs> Thanks, I'm goodbye. This is our first stop of the day. We're going to get some oysters, some seafood, and everything all of the above. That's all I gotta say. What else are we getting today? <laughs> I don't know, stay tuned! We got a mukbang. We got a mukbang, mukbang coming. <laughs> Alright, he's trying to laugh at it all. Mm. No time to waste. How's it good? Oh. Bro, this is so good. Yeah. Tastes like a big sushi roll. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got cheese, we got rice, we got scallop, we got little baby eggs. So and it's stuck together. Oh, no, you gotta eat both scallops. Oh, that is so good. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought? How is it? Oh, oh. Ten. oh. Ooh, solid 9.5. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a rice. Yum. Mm. Ah, we have to go back here. Stop it. We'll be back tomorrow. Mm. Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, this is our next thing. It's a taco, seaweed shell. Is this salmon? Salmon? Yeah, salmon. Some other stuff, I don't know. It's Bro, everything is so good. Oh, got a little kick to it. Mmm. Oh, close up. Oh, it's kind of spicy. <laughs> I'm gonna be in my way to the fish market today. <laughs> 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 
That's great. It's so thick. Whoa. I think I'm dumb. I don't know about that. They're just so thick. Well, you need something to try to This soy sauce helps. It helps, yeah. Yeah, but it's a lot. It's a lot. This is our dessert. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. This place is a 10 out of 10. Definitely like come so. here. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are now at the Sydney Opera House. Here they do operas. <laughs> it's the First Nations by, it honors the First Nations. It's a multi-venue performing arts center in Sydney, Australia. Boom. How's that for a fun fact, Sierra? I'm at the Royal Botanical Garden. It is 500 acres of woodland and the world's largest seed conservation project. You know what that means? They got a lot of seeds. <laughs> they got a lot of seeds, a lot of flowers, a lot, a lot of land. <laughs> a lot of beautiful mowed grass. Yeah, look at flowers. that mowed grass. Rolling it. Do a flip, do a flip. Oh, no, I dropped it back. I'm so sorry. Not the Prada. What you got? Be careful. Oh, wow, a real dog. My body could never. I'd probably pull muscle if I did that right now. Yeah, I think I would pull muscle. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done that since I was in seventh grade. I was going to say, I haven't oh. done that since I was a wee little child. I might pull some. I, I just want to let you know, here. I love it here. I'm never leaving. I'm moving here. This is my next location. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't do yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Ooh, my back's getting itchy. Oh, what kind of grass y'all got down here? It's itchy. It's burning my back. Just haven't been in the grass in a while. We are at Bondi Beach. Fun fact, it's always packed. But also over there, we have we have icebergs, which is a place where you can swim in the pool and overlook the ocean. Oh. Yeah, learned that five seconds ago. Nice. They've got I, pools next to the beach. Icebergs you have to pay for. The other ones are free. Huh. Bungie is my personal favorite. Or Clavelli. Clavelli? Yeah, Clavelli. We'll go next time. All right. Because we'll be at local. Yeah. Because we'll be living together. Because we'll be, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna be back here. I'm gonna be living, I'm moving in with Sierra at some point in the next year. <laughs> By the summer, in a month. I'll be back next week. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I'm actually, I didn't get on my flight. I'm gonna text you tomorrow. Hey, so what we eat for dinner? <laughs> I'm gonna come home and I'll be like, damn, you still here? Let's <laughs> first test. My first time in the Australian oceans. And there's a bit of waves, so she might be on Bondi Rescue. Stay tuned, guys. I think she's fine. I'm yeah, no. Oh, let's run into the water. Let's go. Oh, it's, oh, man, it's gonna be so cold. Oh, that's cold enough to open. Why is it so cold? Ah, it's freezing. Ah! There's no way I can swim in this. I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough swimming for this. Oh, she just did a dive. Ain't no way. Oh my god, I'm going under. What? Wow, you look great. Look at that glow. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, you're glowing. Hey, I'm going to channel on my yeah. Bondi Beach and this is awesome. Yeah, totally wild. Hey, When you first get it, it feels like an icebox, but it's all right now. It's not that bad. Last day in Australia, I'm about to head to the airport to go home, but before I do, I have to tell you a quick story time. So, the other day, so the other day when I went to the opera house, me and my friend were walking by it, and this random man stopped us, and he was like, hey, are you are you guys tourists? What's going on? And I was like, oh, I actually am a tourist. I'm from America, and uh, my friend isn't from Sydney as well, so we both said, oh, we're tourists visiting Sydney. And so, he took this picture of us, and he was like, yeah, check the paper tomorrow. There's going to be a story about it in the paper. Look at this. <laughs> Literally one day, two, uh, two days in Sydney, and I'm in the Daily Telegraph. It says, American tourist Taylor and Sierra snap a selfie at the Sydney Opera House. 
This is so cool. Like I didn't even get a picture in front of it, but this is all I need. I was like, this is the only photograph I need. So final closing thoughts about Australia. I'm gonna be honest, like I didn't expect to love this place as much as I do. I just didn't expect it to be so calm and it feels very, very safe. And I feel like I haven't been to a country in a while that feels really, really safe. Like even in the US, I don't feel safe at all, ever. And another thing that you guys know, if you've been subscribed to my channel, I'm a really big foodie. And I swear every single food item that I've had here has been like life-changing bomb sensation in my mouth. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, so I told my friend I will be back bi-weekly. <laughs> it's October 3rd. Oh my God, October 3rd. No, it's October 4th now. Um, but I'm trying to manifest that I will be back. I did, I remember I told you guys I am um, quit modeling, but I did, I met, met with a modeling agency while I was here just to see if I could get some work out here. And if I can't, I'm gonna be back. If I can't, I'm gonna just come back anyways and vlog, try more food, live my way through Australia. I told my friend I wanted to do the Outback, but we didn't have time to, so I gotta come back. So I'm trying to get the Outback. I'm trying to see the animals. I'm trying to see Melbourne. I wanna go up the coast more. There's just, there's so much of Australia that I haven't seen that is just on my list now. All right, thanks for watching this vlog. Hit the subscribe button because we've got, I guess, an endless lifetime of travels at this point. Um, I'm heading back to the US today, but y'all know I can't stay there for long before I just gotta get back out into the world. I'm trying to see the world. I'm trying to meet some people. I'm trying to live my best life. I'm trying to do the thing of the thing of the thing. Um, that's all I gotta say. Bye, see you, whatever.